Hey gang, we're going to talk about the video CD card for the Sega Saturn. What's a video CD, you ask? Well, that's very simple. Before the advent of DVD, but way after Laserdisc, big name companies like Sony, Philips, JVC, and so on decided to create a whole new format that would rival VHS in terms of AV quality, as well as Laserdisc in terms of affordability. The video CD, or VCD as they are more commonly known, uses MPEG-1 compression for video and audio. Compact discs are much easier and cheaper to reproduce than VHS or Laserdisc. Also, unlike VHS, data stored on a CD won't degrade with every viewing. Thanks to the introduction of consumer CD recording hardware, coupled with the lack of copy protection, the VCD format quickly went the way of the Dodo. In the United States, that is. The format proved exceedingly popular in several other regions throughout the world, such as mainland China, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, and the list just goes on. Due to their popularity in said regions, many gaming consoles released in the 1990s were VCD capable, like the Philips CDI, Sony PlayStation, and of course, Sega Saturn. God, even the Dreamcast has VCD capability. Now, with the exception of certain models released in those regions, you'll need extra hardware and or software in order to make them function. With the Saturn, you simply need a VCD card. VCD cards come in many different varieties produced by several different companies with varying degrees of functionality. Sega Retro actually provides you with a fairly detailed list. I suggest you check them out. Let's talk about the movies. Obviously, most movies run longer than 80 minutes, which is why many of them are spread across two discs. Here I have the official VCD release of the Star Wars Trilogy Special Edition, along with John Woo's Black Jack and Bullet in the Head. Bullet in the Head is the whole reason why I even got into VCDs, because this is the only version that has Woo's original ending. Okay, so how does it look? I'm sure some of you are imagining something akin to Night Trap or Wirehead, but here's the truth. I'll use one of my short films as an example as well as a shameless plug. Here's No Limits encoded using MPEG-2 compression. Here's the VCD. It's a bit softer in detail, but not so different from VHS. VCD supports chapter stops and limited menu access. The player also provides you with a zoom option. Side note, if your internal battery is on the fritz, it will interfere with your VCD card, so be sure to check it. Like I mentioned before, the Dreamcast has its very own VCD player. It's a tad cumbersome, and the player itself is rare. It's an unlicensed product called Dream Movie, which comes with an IR receiver, remote control, and boot disc. The boot disc is supposed to work the same way as the import disc, but my disc is scratched to hell, so the Dreamcast can't read it. This sucks. This add-on wasn't cheap, nor easy to come by. If anyone watching this has a copy of the boot disc, please burn me a copy. I'll send you a VCD for your trouble. Even if it worked, I'd still favor the Saturn to an extent. The quality is exceptional and it's much easier to use. The movie card is inserted in the very back above the internal battery and it stays put. You don't even need to remove it when the time comes to change said battery. It uses the Saturn controller for playback, which is clearly displayed on a Japanese controller, making it even easier. If that isn't sexy enough, certain Japanese titles like Gun Griffin and Lunar Silver Star Story actually make use of the VCD card, enhancing the in-game cutscene video quality. Not bad if I do say so myself. These VCD cards are well worth owning, and it certainly adds another bit of cool factor to your collection. If you can snag one for a decent price, I'd say go for it and pick up a copy of my movie.